Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Here we go, it's Saturday. Uh, we're present with Keisha wandering around here. <laughs> this is the uh, 1946 uh, Brownie uh, 620 Flash. Flash 620, Brownie Flash 620, I don't know. The uh, So here we go, I, I cleaned up the, the glass, but I did not get the close, I did not dismantle it enough to get the close-up glass, so we won't be doing any close-up shots. This is quite a unique camera. This is actually the mount system for the flash, so it holds a huge flash. It has this uh, little tab, so you can put it on a table or something and do portraits. It shoots, the, it shoots six by nine. The six by nine is the 120, that's a huge, that's the big format in, in 120 film. So that's a, that, that is, that's, that's a big, that's a big negative. That's the big negative that all my uh, German folders shoot the, the largest, the six by nine. So I re-spooled some Ilford XP2 uh, Super. Uh, 400 that's this is the c41 so you develop this in uh, you develop this in uh, the co c41 color process and uh, here we go so uh, we're gonna open this up there's a lock open pull the top off so I re-spooled this film already onto uh, 620 spools be because it needs it needs the uh, the 620 spools on a lot of these Kodak cameras. They uh, they did the 620 thing, so you had to buy their film. A lot of European cameras were just 120, so uh, I have spools. So you I had to go into the dark bag and unspool off the plastic modern 120 roll onto a 620 and then back onto another 620. That's so that's how you do that so that's that's quite the uh, it takes a bit of practice I've done it with uh, with just paper backing quite a few times but I can tell you one thing that uh, extra large dark bag that I that I bought is got to be the you know you know I'll show you a demonstration with that someday but that's that's the best friend I've ever you know with, with all of this I don't have to run and try to get into a dark room so here we go we load our spool onto this side we bring it across and over it's a little bent there but that doesn't matter and then into the feed I did try this with the uh, 120 spools but uh, I found it was pretty pretty hard turning and, and there was binding and you know we want to try to give this I guess I should take out a little more here we want to try to give this as much as we possibly can a, a chance to uh, so we're going to be uh, of course I hope I'm not leaving the camera view here because I don't have a monitor but uh, you want to maybe try to hold that till it at least so here we go, there it is. So now uh, what I do is I, I'll i spool this until I see basically the arrow there. Cause I, you know, and then we put it back in its slider. And, and this is, yeah, I wanna show you. So this, this is the size of the actual negative. That's how big the actual negative is. It's it's the, because it's an arched back. They were able into this small package in 1946. Snap it all together, lock it to uh, to get a six by nine out of there. So now we roll this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but there we go. Oh, this rolls much better with the with the 620 rolls. Here we go, and I would say that's where the name came from, right? 620 Brownie Flash, Brownie 620 Flash. And we're gonna be get her up to 
Ooh, even Keisha's excited. Oh, here we go. So you go slow. On the Ilford films, you'll see the dots get bigger and bigger. The circles, two circles, big circles. There we go. We're on one. So uh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> There's the viewfinder. I don't know. <laughs> so that's it. That's the whole thing. So it shoots at uh, approximately one fortieth of a of a second. Um, one or, or one fortieth. 140, 140, 40 one hundredths of a second, blah, 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 blah. We, uh, we, we will be going beyond the 10 feet. Uh, we won't be using bulb. Obviously, the past owner had a problem with that, so they finally uh, marked on there. I don't know where this camera came from. I'm pretty sure it was free in a box. But uh, here we go, as promised. We got a very gloomy gray day. We're gonna be getting snow right away. So that's why I put 400 in there. So even with the 400 speed film, I'm pretty sure we're pushing, uh, and here, here's a lock so you don't fire. I'm pretty sure we're, we're pushing this, uh, uh, the exposure, like we're not, uh, we're not gonna be getting, uh, overexposed that's for sure and look it's even got a tripod mount but uh yeah so there we go dark gray day we'll see what we got <laughs> 1946 done deal done deal everybody Let's get this into the uh, darkroom bag. Let's get her put on some spools. Get her in the tank. Let's see what happens. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy what we got because I'm showing it to you whether we like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. make sure you always leave your 620 spool in there sometimes those are a little hard to come by I've got quite a bit of old cameras so I ended up with quite a bit of these old spools it's closed up another one in the bag oh look at that it's not uh, it's not playing nice There we go. We're done. Let's have a look and see what happened.